when I feel like putting up multiplayer videos, and probably the, probably the more what the multiplayer videos you probably might see me do is probably like games like Uncharted 2, Mag, and probably Battlefield. But I don't know. I don't know anything else. Maybe maybe split second. Maybe Blur when I get Blur. I haven't been able to get Blur because um, because usually I've actually been a little bit busy trying to save some money to fix my car because it's got his MOT and I think it's failed on one part which is not that bad because I had a, a Citroen Saxo which failed you know, on tons of parts that fucking thing fell apart all the time <laughs> but uh, I don't think there's any other Let's Plays I'm going to mention because I'd rather keep a lot of my Let's Plays more of a surprise and a secret than mentioning them, I think someone else has meant. I think someone else mentioned. Will you do this and will you do that? But yeah, but Red Dead. As a, I won't do Red Red Dead straight away. I don't know when I'm gonna do it. I think it's whenever I feel like it, really. Uh, and then, yeah, I think it's really bad. I think I'm just talking about Red Dead at the moment. I said Red Dead. It's a really, really, really fun game. I feel like a cowboy in this game. <laughs> Which, um, as I've probably mentioned before, that I felt that Grand Theft Auto 4 was a bit la with the way it works because, you know, Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto was all about the lunacy, not the real, not realism or anything like that. Uh, and I can never understand. I can never understand Grand Theft Auto 4's attentions of being realistic, and it was funny, but it wasn't like ridiculously funny or something like that. You know, kind of like in San Andreas, where uh, CG was actually a gang. Was this a uh, a small town gangster? And all of a sudden, he becomes um, uh, a car. Rep you know, he becomes a car repairman or mechanic. And then he works for the FBI and flies planes. And then he dies out of a plane to jump in a plane to assassinate someone. He can fly planes as well. It's um, ridiculous. And he runs a casino. He also robs a casino. Oh, I forgot what else he does. But there's so many crazy things he did in there. But I well, think the only complaint I have about Red Dead at the moment is the character Mark. Is it Mark? Hold on. No, it isn't. That's not Mark. The fuck am I talking about? Oh, I need to grab the case. It's actually... Oh, no. John Marston. Sorry about that. Even though he keeps saying his name like half a million times, everyone he meets, he, he introduces himself. Hi. Oh, I'm John Marston. And stuff like that. Every fucking time. Yeah. Thank you for that. <sighs> I just get annoyed with that. But... I gotta say, he is a wuss. <laughs> yeah. He's a wuss. I mean, what I don't understand is, if you do, like, dishonorable things, like rob a bank and shoot some people for a laugh, he's a completely different character in the cutscenes. He's a wuss, and I don't understand it. If he's just, a, if he's a nice guy, right? He's a skilled shooter, and, <coughs> and... For some reason he's an idiot as well, or he, oh no, he he's just a wuss, not an idiot, but he put, might as well call him an idiot for being a wuss. I mean, this was one scene where I think you meet up this with this Mexican general. I forgot his name, but it was it's quite obvious that he's a bit of a bastard and he's raping village women for just his own pleasure. And it, you even see the women trying to escape, and what does John do? Fucking nothing. I mean, I thought you were trying to lead the whole outlaw thing, and ah, oh, and you try to be a good guy, and it's obviously he shows respect for women, but I don't know why he doesn't allow himself to save them from this fucking general. I was like, why are you still working with them? I'm burning down a village. You've been taken advantage of. You've been taken as an idiot, you douche. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry, I just... I don't understand him. He is a big hairy pussy. Uh, but another game I've been playing. This is a, a fairly new one. <coughs> uh, sorry about that. A fairly new one. 
And that's Alpha Protocol. And tell you the truth. Okay, at first, the story is actually pretty good. It's. Yeah, it's full of conspiracies. You know, who did who? Who stole the missiles? And what are they going to do with it? And who's trying to start another war? Or maybe a Cold War? That sort of thing. I've not completed the story, so I don't know how far I've gone. Or maybe the story would have collapsed at the end. But the f most fun I had with this game is the dialogue parts. L the game is basically like Mass Effect. You know, you run around and you could do dialogue sections, but instead of just choosing a bit of dialogue, you actually choose on how you want to proceed yourself as. You know, do you want to be aggressive? Do you want to be seducive? Do you want to be joking? You know, a jokey type? Or do you want to be professional? That sort of thing of how you want to say it. Or do you just want to shoot this button in the head and just, you know, get it over and done with? You know, execute them. <laughs> and, and actually, I'm actually on my second... I'm actually on my sort of second playthrough, but uh, the first playthrough went a bit hiccups because um, I don't think I developed my character right, and uh, there was a problem with that, so I just stopped and redid it. And I've, I've seen those different outcomes, and I met different characters as well, which I never met before. I'm like, wow, I never met I never met you before. Who are you? <laughs> which I actually find out quite good, and I've read up more about it. That you know, you could has Different actions have different consequences, but also what you do, you can actually meet different people and have different outcomes, and I thought that's great. But, gameplay wise. Well, no way, hold up. Let's let you know, Alpha Protocol kind of reminds me of Heavy Rain. The same sort of suspense of who am I going to trust and who am I not going to trust, but at the moment, I'm getting anyone to trust. I'm getting to trust everyone to trust me as well. And if they betray me, I should shoot them. <laughs> yeah, it's that kind of sensation of heavy rain, puff rum and heavy rain, I don't Yeah, it, it actually played more like a movie, but... But the gameplay part of... Um, Alpha Protocol, for some reason I forgot his name, but... It's... Terrible. <laughs> yeah. It's actually partly broken as well. It's just so buggy, glitchy at times, and some reason... Every time uh, your character sneaks, he sticks his ass up in the air. <laughs> uh, I don't know why. And also, pistols. Pistols are broken in this game. You can't aim to save your life, no matter how much you put uh, skill points into it. It just doesn't work. So you have to be with um, assault rifles or machine guns or SMGs, that sort of thing. To really get the job done. Which, uh, my character was more like a, a stealthy martial arts expert. Yeah, that's what I portray him as, but now he's um, a stealthy martial arts expert who can... who has significant, significant medical knowledge and... and sabotage, <laughs> actually. <laughs> who knows um, assault rifle training. Which, okay then. <laughs> but, it's actually, but, this is a lot of things are wrong with this game, especially when it doesn't feel like it's alive. The problem is, you can't really avoid not comparing this to Mass Effect, because it basically, it basically has basis of gameplay-wise, mechanically-wise, of Mass Effect. Mass Effect 1 and 2 look so much better than this game. They run better than this game. Well, I know Mass Effect 1 has uh, it's, uh, a few glitches and...